Hey, what's up guys, TJ here, and today we're going to talk about controllers, drones, and DJI's new smart controller. Before we get into it, let's talk about the problems of conventional controllers that DJI has came out with before and in the past, controllers that I've used and controllers that I don't use any longer, and let's just have a trip down memory lane real quick. So first up is the Phantom 4 controller. This is the behemoth of a controller that I thought back in the day was like the perfect controller. I mean, it just, it just felt good in hands. It was it was, it was thick. It, it's, it's a thick controller. You have this little flip out thing. These didn't really hide anywhere. They just flopped around like this. Uh, that's why I lost one. And I don't even know why it's supposed to extend range, but it's really just a hollow piece of nothing. And, um, it works fine without it. The problem with this is it's big. It requires an external monitor. So your phone or a tablet, something like that, iPad, whatever. Um, this thing does not fold down or get to a smaller size. It's just huge for no reason at all. One of the biggest problems this controller has is just draining the battery life of whatever device you plug into it. So it just, it just sucks the life out of it. And it's not cool to have to worry about this battery life and your phone battery life and the drone battery life. It's a lot of battery life to worry about. Next up is the DJI Spark Controller. Basically, this is a smaller form factor. It's beautiful. It folds down to this little small controller. It has these more robust, durable antennas there, and they fold up and they tuck away pretty nicely. Uh, controllers are nice. There's no LED screen or LCD screen or anything on here. But the problem with this thing is just the dongles, all these little pieces that have to go in here. This one, and then I had to put this one and that one to go to my phone. This was not ideal, uh, but it got the job done. It's cool, and I just gotta remember to bring these. And the last controller we're talking about is the Mavic Pro controller. This is the Mavic Pro controller, and it's small and looks exactly like the Spark controller, but it does have this little cord that comes with it. The same small form factor. You have uh, the tuck away antennas here. Controllers are nice. You also have this little LCD screen here that displays things like altitude and stuff like that. And you did not need to worry about bringing along a cord because it tucked right away in here and that was perfect. The only bad thing I would say about this is you would have to have an external display. The display couldn't be larger than the phone you had and these little things were uh, kind of limiting on what kind of size phone could fit in here. Um, it was pretty good about fitting most phones but um, if you got a larger phone um, you probably will have a hard time fitting it in here. And that brings us to the DJI Smart Controller, which DJI is basically giving us the ability to get up in the air faster, to be able to have a longer battery life, and to not worry about bringing along cables, different cords and stuff like that, and also making sure that your phone is adequately charged so you can take flight. And this controller looks really nice. It's by far the coolest DJI controller that I have ever seen has a nice little small slim form factor. Antennas fold down and tuck away in a nice way. So when you pack it up, it's still nice and slim. And the display isn't huge, but it's large enough to do any type of flying that you wanna do. So some of the specs are a five and a half inch display, a two and a half hour battery life, which is by far plenty of time to fly with. It has a built-in HDMI port, so you can actually plug it in and display it on a larger screen or larger display. And it also comes equipped with OcuSync 2.0, which is basically just gonna give you a better long range full HD transmission. It also allows for automatic switching between 2.5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. And that's just gonna give you less interference and better range at eight kilometers or five miles. Now the smart aspect of this controller is it's customizable Android system which allows you to change apps, download apps, put apps up there, including third-party apps like Facebook and Instagram, and also apps that come on it like GoShare and the DJI Go app. Uh, but GoShare allows you to do it straight from this device, and also you can share pictures from this device directly to your phone and then share it how you want to that way. But one of the features that is described is SkyTalk, which is basically being able to live stream on Facebook and platforms like Instagram straight from your drone uh, using the built-in microphone and speaker on the controller. I'm not sure how many people will be into that. I'm not sure how many people would actually be live streaming uh, drone footage, 
uh, but it could be cool. Doing voiceovers and live streaming and uh, just talking about your day maybe via this smart controller uh, and your drone as the camera, which could be a cool way of sharing, um, could be a cool way of, uh, of posting new content on Facebook and on Instagram. So everything seems promising, looks like a great new addition to the DJI family. They seem like they come out with a new product all the time. I feel like it fixes all the problems that I have with these two drone controllers moving forward. I would, if I was gonna buy a drone, especially the, the, the Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 Zoom, I would get it with the smart controller. The problem I have is that the Mavic 2 uh, came out already because the controller by itself is 649, which I think is uh, it's pretty steep there. As a package deal, it sounds great, but as a deal outside of the package, it does not sound great. Let me know in the comments as a consumer, as a prosumer, as whatever you are, if you fly drones, let me know if you would purchase this smart controller outside of a package deal, or would you only purchase it in a package deal? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.